Hello and welcome to my video. In this how-to I want to explain you how to create a build info, how to push it to Artifactory and analyze it together with X-Ray. If you're interested in this, stay tuned. By the way, my name is Sven Ruppert and I'm developer advocate at JFrog. And if you want, you can check out my YouTube channels. You will find a bunch of other DevSecOps and Java related videos there. But now, time for the build info. If you want to work with build info, you can use the free tier from JFrog for analyzing and associating this data with vulnerability infos. For this, you need a free tier and you can just search for JFrog free tier or go to the URL jfrog.com start minus free. You will get this screen here and what you have to fill in is your first name, last name, a valid email address and a password you want to use for the platform itself. Select the cloud provider of your choice, select the region if you prefer different geolocations and then um, choose a server name. This server name is important for you because this will be part of the URL you're using for all the other steps. So don't forget it. If you're done with this and you want to start a trial, check the um, checkbox here to agree terms and conditions and press the button try it now. So you will get an email and after a few minutes you have a ready to go instance in the cloud. Okay, we have free tier now. The next thing what we need is a JFrog CLI because with this we want to generate the build info during the build process. And to get the CLI you have different options. Um, go to jfrog.com slash get CLI. Here you will get different options how to install it. And I will take here the brew install JFrog minus CLI version on my Mac OS X. But feel free whatever fits best to you. I'm choosing here homebrew for my Mac. To get this uh, installation method you want to have, go here to copy, to this icon here, then to the command line of your choice and go. In my case homebrew is installed already. If you don't have homebrew you have to install this one first. But um, I installed the JFrog CLI already a few minutes ago. So here you will just get the information that's already installed but on your side it will start this installation process. It will take some time and then you have the JFrog CLI. To test if the JFrog CLI is running just type JFrog and you will get some uh, command line information. Okay, we have now the free tier instance or whatever instance you are using with Artifactory and X-Ray. We installed the command line interface and now it's time to connect this command line interface through the Artifactory X-Ray combination. For this, uh, remember the server um, name you have uh, chosen. So it was server name.jfrog.io. And now I will show you how to connect your command line interface to this one. For this, type jfrog, jfrog. Um, this was a command line and then if you are looking here you see that you have command line config to add configurations. Okay, let's say jfrog config. With jfrog config uh, you have the possibility to add, edit, export, import and so on different configs. Here I have a clean system say jfrog config show will show nothing, it's empty. Let's do it again here on a free screen. So nothing. And I want to add now this connection. JFrog config add. Now it will ask me so for the server ID and the server ID is in my case Sven R. Now it's asking for the platform URL. Be aware that you have to include this HTTPS in front of HTTPS. Sven R. Gen frog.io. This is a full URL. Now you have here this the possibility if you have different instances, if you have an own installation on prem or whatever. But in my case, I'm using the cloud version. I can just say save and continue. Now it's asking for um, access data. So it uh, you can use user password from your admin account or whatever account, or you're using an um, an access token. I have an access token here already. I'm pasting it right now and that's it. If you're using the cloud then there is no reverse proxy installed and that's it. Now we can see if it is all right. JFrog config show and here we are. Everything is all right. 
If you want to do all these steps with me together in a workshop, feel free to register for one of my uh, free available uh, workshops. And the uh, next dates and times you will find on the JFROC homepage. So feel free to register for one of these workshops and then you can do all these steps with me together. And additionally, you will get more information about the DevSecOps term itself. So feel free to register. And um, yeah, now we want to work here with this. Okay, we have now all components together. Now we want to um, use the command line interface to extract the information from the build process itself. So for this, we have to configure the Maven command or the command line interface to be able to grab all this stuff out of Maven. For this, we need some information. So JFrog, the first thing is if you are checking the commands again, the artifactory is are starting with RT. So here, clear, jfrog rt, and then maven config. I've done it previously, so I have already a configuration. So in this, um, uh, at this time, uh, they want to overwrite it or asking me if I want to overwrite it. Yes, I will overwrite it now to show it. Then resolve dependencies from Artifactory. Yes, I want to resolve it. Then Artifactory server ID. This is exactly what we used in the config phase a little bit earlier. Then it will connect and ask. And here is a repository for release dependencies. My release, uh, depend, uh, my release repository is uh, Maven release, release. You see, you have this auto completion on command line. I've it's, it's quite nice. If you don't know how to create Maven repositories inside Artifactory, check out my um, how-to about how to set up Maven repositories. I will go with you through all the details how to create local, remote, and virtual repositories. So here we have the Maven release. The next is a question for the Maven snapshots. Maven snapshots. Then it will ask if I want to deploy something. Sure, I want to deploy. Then server ID, exactly the same here in my case. Then what is uh, deployment is maven and release. And for snapshots, maven snapshot. So I don't want to filter anything. I want to push everything through it. So I'm not filtering anything and then now it's done. So now we are ready to start building our first build info. Now it's time to create the build info. For this, we are using the command line interface to wrap the Maven commands. Instead of Maven clean install, we are wrapping this command with the JFrog CLI. To get this one, I will, so I'm too lazy to type this command every time. So this is why I'm using the history here now. So what we are using here is JFrog, then RT for doing something with Artifactory. Then maven clean install, the maven command I want to set. And uh, then I need additional parents for the build name and the build number. Um, make sure that this build name makes sense for your project because this is exactly, exactly the logical name you will find inside the UI a little bit later. And the build number is here set manually. So make sure that you're having a strong increasing build number and you're not overriding builds. This is a disadvantage if you're doing it on command line without any help. But here I'm just using this command now. So now the JFrog um, CLI is wrapping the Maven command. Uh, the Maven command is um, regularly yeah, executed and it took here seven seconds. Okay, so next step would be how to publish build information. So after we created the build info, it's time to publish this build info. And for this, we need the jfrog command again. So, oh, here, yeah. so jfrog, then it has something to do with Artifactory, build publishing, and then I need the build name. So here it's jfrog free tier workshop, and I use the build number 001. So, setting up this command. What it's doing is it's connecting through the Artifactory instance to the build info repository and pushing this stuff in. Before we are going to the UI, I want to um, show here uh, what is 
locally stored if you don't want to use Artifactory and X-Ray. You just want to create this build info because you want to um, use this information for an s -bomb, the software builds of material. Then uh, you can go here and uh, target, target, and then you will find build info JSON. If you're looking at this one, you will see that there is a ton of information included, including all dependencies, hash sums, and so on and so on. So this is pushed to Artifactory, and we will have a look inside the UI in a second. Okay, what we saw um, is that we manually have to manage this build number. This build number can be just a number, but it can be a concatenation of, um, for example, date and time. And if you want to use this one to give automatic build number so that someone can create this build number on um, on a bash um, on command line in a bash script or something, I have a tiny example here. For example, with bash scripts, what I'm just doing is I'm creating the current date and time, concatenating with an underscore, and then I'm using exactly this command, uh, this variable, this environment variable inside this. Um, call of jfrog CLI and here you see that the build number is now filled with an input or with a value of the variable current date. So if you're doing this and then you're just using the build script, the good thing is that you have everything together and you can just invoke it on command line, it's easier and then you have some, some kind of strong monotonic increasing build number. Whatever fits to you, um, play around. You, uh, if it is done by a uh, CI environment, it's easier. But if you want to use it on command line, just think about tiny scripts like this. So we created and published build information already to Artifactory. Now it's time to check how it looks like inside your JFrog platform. So for this, log in to your free tier or whatever platform you're using and then go to the point Artifactory. Then you will see the menu point for the um, build information is called builds. If you're clicking here, you will get a list of all these build names you uh, used over the time. We use uh, in this demo here JVM free tier workshop and we are checking now the build number. We created the build number 001 and here we are. That's the build information. The build information is associated with different data. So for example, here you have the modules and inside the modules, the jar and POM you created with the repository path where it's published. If you have environment variables, for example, in your CI environment or whatever, then you would see them here. Additionally to this, we uh, combined X-ray data to this build. So you created this binary and you had dependencies and this dependencies, for example, had some vulnerabilities. So you can scan for uh, violations, security uh, issues, so it means vulnerabilities, license issues and so on. And if you have dependent things or someone is depending on you, so descendants and ancestors, ancestors, oh, it's a difficult name for me. Okay, so if you're depending on something or someone is depending on you, and we are looking here at the security issue, uh, so the vulnerabilities. And if you are clicking here on this vulnerability information, you will get exactly the data that's available, CVE number, if it is wrapped in some jar, web archive, whatever, and so on and so on. So you have the X-ray data associated to this build. The build information itself is immutable, but the X-ray data will be um, constantly updated based on the security database updates. Okay, so this is more or less everything. Oh yeah, then you can have issues if you're connected with an issue tracker. Uh, you can build divs between different build information so that you will get highlighted. Okay, here this dependency changed or the, uh, some configuration changed or other things. So environment variable um, inputs or values are changed. A release history, if you're building a release and then history, you see all this information uh, itself. And then if you're using pipelines to build this, you have dedicated information about this one as well. And the JSON file, it's exactly the same what you can see on command line. This is just the raw file. So all together is a full build information and it's stored inside Artifactory.
So I hope you enjoyed this little how-to and if you want to see more subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up. This would be really appreciated and if you have any suggestions what you want to see as next how-to please write it down into the comments and well that's it so far. Enjoy it, try it out and see you.